Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever lost jewelry or really anything on the beach? I'm sure at some point we all we all have. Well, News 13, Taylor Maresca is live out on the beach right now. She spoke with two Grand Strand men who are making people smile and honestly, Taylor, making their whole day, probably their week, and really maybe even their life. Good morning. Good morning, Melissa. We all know that feeling in the pit of your stomach when you lose something really important. But what if you lost something itty bitty in the middle of the beach? Metal detecting isn't just a fun pastime. It can be the biggest sigh of relief. Jim Wren and Matthew Fry are the ring finders of North Myrtle Beach. If you drop your engagement ring in the sand or your necklace slips off your neck in the water, these two are your guys. It's always a sad story. It's usually a grandmother's ring that's been passed down and they've lost it on the beach and they're hysterical. It's a big responsibility. Imagine a woman distraught over the loss of her brand new engagement ring and now she's entrusted you to find it. When you do, the reaction is something you'd never forget. It's like, okay, I've been out here all day. Um, here's, here's where I've searched and I'll have it on my finger and I'll, I'll be pointing to an area and they'll see it and they lose it. <laughs> they jump up and down, they cry, they scream, they hug. But the chances of finding a lost item aren't always perfect, especially when you're looking for something this little in an area this big. For a typical beach search, they say chances are 7 in 10. For underwater searches, it drops to 3 in 10. I can attest, I got to do some ring finding myself, and it was not easy. They say searches are different. Some take seconds, others take weeks, but the feeling of a successful search is always the same. It's an amazing feeling to give somebody back something that they thought was going to be gone forever. The coolest thing, the ring finders don't charge a thing for their service. They work entirely on donations, and they're always looking for the next people to help. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Taylor Maresca, News 13.